My name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and you are listening to or watching Bridges, a weekly showcase of a single content creator in Japan and their content. This is episode number 36, and today we are featuring the content of Lauren and the videos she has so graciously uploaded to the Lauren Nihon YouTube channel.、Uh, now, there's a lot to like about Lauren and the videos she puts online.、Uh, first of all, she's got a very bubbly personality. Has a great smile and has seemed to have endeared herself with the usual suspects among the YouTube community.、Uh, the YouTube community based out of Japan, that is.、Uh, but the things that I've been enjoying quite a bit about her channel as of late have been her question corner videos.、Uh, I really enjoy watching and、uh, think her viewers really get a kick out of the time she takes to answer some of the questions they send her way. It is、uh, one such video that I'd like to start with this evening. Uh, this was a question sent to her by a viewer asking all about the attractiveness of Japanese men.、Uh, being half Japanese myself, I was also extremely curious to know the answer.、Uh, enjoy this next one, guys. Hi, YouTube. It's me, Lauren, again. Hi. So,、um, I. This is another question corner video, question corner number five.、Um, I actually plan on doing this a little earlier this week, but I kind of had like a cold <laughs> for a while. Like, I used a gazillion tissues. Like, I can't even <laughs> explain to you. And I still don't feel 100%, but I'm probably like 90, 95% at this point. So, I'm finally making a video. <laughs> so,、um, This question corner is a question from、um, YouTube Bullet Train or、um, Lyle's brother or <laughs> Softy Papa or just, you know, as we mostly know him, Kurt. So he commented and asked me,、um, What do you think of Japanese guys? Interesting question. <laughs> no,、um, I think my parents would also want to know the answer to that. Um, I mean, I think of Japanese guys basically the same as I think of American guys or, you know, British guys or any other kind of guys. Like, I'm not attracted to every single guy. I'm not. But、um, it's the same here. At least so far, I'm sure they do exist. I have found less,、um, for, pardon my French, assholes among Japanese guys than I find in the US.、Um, A lot of, at least in college life situations, like a lot of guys are just assholes. That's just what they are at this stage of life.、Um, so, you know, I don't know, it just happens.、Um, not that everyone is, but a lot of them are,、um, at least in my school. Anyway,、um, the Japanese guys I've met have been really nice.、Um, and I'm just, I'm not attracted to all of them. Some of them are too. Effeminate looking for me. Some of them I'm not sure if they're married or not, or some of them I'm not sure、um, if they like women. I don't know. It's difficult. It's difficult. And、um, I don't know. I mean, it's the same. It really it's like exactly the same as in the US, except they're not American, they're Japanese. That's like the only real difference.、Um, and For me personally, I I mean, I tend, I mean, obviously it's really, I mean, it would be really nice if the guy was good looking, but their personality to me means a lot more than what they look like. So, yeah, in terms of appearance, you know, Japanese guys, American guys, they're pretty much the same,、um, in my opinion. But,、um, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, personality wise, I really, really don't know. I mean, I haven't dated any of them. I really have, like, no experience with Japanese guys. Like, I really don't.、Um, most of them, most of the ones I know、um, are, you know, either co workers who are much older than me, much, much older than me, or、um, people I, like, sort of vaguely know. <laughs> <laughs> from various things like the Don Judy Festival or whatever.、Um, and they're not necessarily my personal friends yet. I mean, maybe when I'm here longer, they'll become my friends and not just、um, my host family's friends.、Um, so, yeah, I mean, the Japanese guys I know best 
I think they're like really wonderful people. I really, really do. But I mean, I, you know, have a lot of male American friends back home that I also love really dearly. <laughs> so I don't know. It's basically the same. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's basically all I have to say about that. So uh, now that that's all cleared up, uh, me being an effeminate uh, a-hole who is of ambiguous sexual orientation and or marital status, I am clearly not an eligible bachelor for uh, Ms. Lauren Nihon. But you, you out there, maybe. But uh, let's move on and uh, learn some Japanese. Now, uh, not that standard Japanese they're teaching in the schools, but uh, the real Kansai Japanese spoken on the streets of Osaka. So uh, I'm going to have to cut this one a little bit short. It's kind of a lengthy video, uh, but this is one of those videos that you should definitely check out in its entirety on Lauren's channel. Enjoy this next one, guys. Hi, YouTube. So this is me, Lauren, again. Hi. Um, so today I'm wearing a happy this happy my host family gave to me and um they use it for their Don Judy Ball Festival. So I don't know. They give it to me. I'm really happy about it. They wear these every year. This is for young people apparently. Um so but today this video is for a lesson on Kansai Ben. So I stayed in the Kansai area of Japan, um, Osaka Prefecture specifically, and it's not, they don't speak standard Japanese in con the Kansai area, no. In fact, it's quite different. Um, Japanese students learn standard Japanese in school, but each area of Japan has its own dialect, and that's not something that they teach you in Japanese textbooks. They teach you standard D Japanese, which is actually the Tokyo dialect, or one of the Tokyo dialects, and that was just chosen because it was that's where the capital was it, um, was moved to. Um, so I guess Kansai, the Kansai dialect is more accurate to what the original, whatever standard Japanese dialect was, because Kyoto is in the Kansai area. Um, so I don't know if some of these things pertain only to Osaka, but um, it definitely pertains to the Kansai area. So first I'm going to start off with Maido. <laughs> so Maido, Maido. Maido means hello, <laughs> basically. Um, you'll definitely hear that a lot, especially in stores or local environments. Not so much at a school, um, but yeah, so Maido. The second word I wanted to go over is okini. 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 And that means thank you. It's not quite as often heard, I guess, as um, maido, at least where I was and where I went. But um, definitely very useful. It means just thank you. <laughs> Probably more casual, I think, than um, arigato or wherever. So, the third word I wanted to go over is okan. So, okan, okan. So, okan means mother. <laughs> and in my first host family, um, there were three siblings. So, my host sister and two younger host brothers. Um, and they always call their parents okan and um, oton, which I'll go over in a little bit. Um, but that means father. Always, 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 always. And it bothered the parent, like her, my uh, host, fam my host parents. Kansai ban is definitely looked down upon in modern Japan. So, like the standard dialect is definitely taking over. But yeah, definitely still heard. <laughs> um, but my host sister always called her parents Okasan and Otosan. Never heard her. You use okan Maybe it's more masculine, I'm not really sure, but it definitely is osaka ben, or kansai ben. Um, ben means dialect, by the way. Uh, so the, sec the fourth word is oton. Oton 
Oto. Um, the fifth word is ikere. <laughs> ikere means the same as daijoubu in standard Japanese, but so basically it's are you okay? Are you alright? Or okay, I'm fine. So it's all, both a question and a response. You can say like, I don't know, ikere? If you see someone fall, and then you can, if you fell yourself, you can say, hi, ikere. So it means both, you know, are you okay? And yeah, I'm okay at the same time. And uh, finally, to round things off, here is a bit of eye candy from an evening Danjiri festival. Uh, this is, to be honest, the first time I've seen uh, such modern takes on the traditional Japanese Danjiri. Uh, but they're really cool actually, and this uh, video is a lot of fun to watch. Uh, again, enjoy this last one to round off the series for this evening. So, although Lauren is uh, just getting warmed up on YouTube, I'm sure we'll see a lot more interesting content coming from her in the not-so-distant future. Uh, please, I would definitely encourage you all to keep tabs on this uh, very interesting content creator and uh, her content over on her YouTube channel, Lauren Nihon. Um, and uh, that's going to about do it, I guess. Uh, thank you all once again for listening to or watching episode number 36 of Bridges. Please feel free to get in touch with us over at bridges at wanwan.fm with any comments, questions, or suggestions for future content creators to be featured on the show. And once again, my name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and this is Bridges, and thank you all for watching. See you next week, guys.